everyone, Jamie Chapman for 3 Minute Histology. In this video, we're going to be looking at spermatogenesis. That's the process of formation of the sperm in the seminiferous tubules. And we're going to be using this really lovely section. This is a section of the testis from a monkey, which has been processed uh, into resin and then sectioned very thinly, about one and a half microns, and then stained with hematoxyl and eosin. And the reason we're looking at this is because resin sections produce these really high quality sections and we'll see morphology of sperm and other cells like you've never seen before. So it's really great to actually look at the different cells involved in spermatogenesis and, and found within the seminiferous tubules. So let's start our three minutes. So as we can see, this is just a section of the uh, testis. We've got the tunica albuginea out here, this dense connective tissue. Here we've got the tunica vasculosa. You can see the big blood vessel here. And then we've got all of our seminiferous tubules. So if we zoom in, you'll see what I was talking about when I talked about the quality of the um, cells. Look at that. Look at all those nuclei really standing out nice and clearly. Um, so if you remember, the seminiferous tubules are bounded by these layers of myoid cells. You can see them quite clearly here. Uh, and then we've got the seminiferous tubules with all the different cell types found within it. So if we have a look here, you can hopefully see these uh, pale nuclei with the prominent nucleolus. You can see them all throughout uh, the testis here. These are the nurse cells or the sustentacular cells or the Sertoli cells. Remember, they have the receptors for follicle stimulating hormone and they stimulate spermatogenesis, produce testicular fluid and androgen binding protein, inhibit and active end, depending upon uh, how well um, spermatogenesis is taking place. Now, sitting on the basement membrane, we have these round nuclei. These are the spermatogonia. Um, you can see them sitting on the basement membrane here. And the spermatogonia undergo mitosis. Uh, one of those stays behind as a stem cell. One of them then uh, pushes past the blood testis barrier, which is formed between tight junctures between adjacent um, nurse cells or Sertoli cells. And then they enter into meiosis 1 and become known as primary spermatocytes. So the primary spermatocytes are these large nuclei with the strange looking chromatin appearance, almost like a leopard skin type of appearance. You can see a number of them over here as well. They undergo meiosis 1, they produce two secondary spermatocytes, they immediately enter into meiosis 2, producing two, uh, uh, four spermatids, so from those two secondary spermatocytes we end up with four spermatids, and these are these round nuclei, so these are the spermatids. They under then undergo a morphological change uh, known as spermiogenesis, where they transform from these round cells into the mature spermatozoon shape. And you can actually see them here. So um, if you see the nucleus and you can see their tails all projecting down out into the lumen here. Eventually they're released in a process called spermiation. And then through contractions of the myoid cells in the wall of the seminiferous tubule uh, within the testicular fluid here, they're actually pushed through the seminiferous tubules via the straight tubules via the radio testis and into the rest of the male reproductive system. So you can see that uh, different parts of the uh, seminiferous epithelium are actually undergoing spermatogenesis at different rates. So you can see there's no spermatozoa here. There's um, spermatozoa over here. And that uh, is an indication that the different parts of the seminiferous tubules are actually undergoing different um, rates of spermatogenesis or different rates of meiosis. And this is known as the cycle of the seminiferous epithelium. Um, so what it means is that um, there's always a continual turnover of um, sperm so that males always after puberty always produce sperm um, until death basically anyway i hope you found that useful this is a sort of a, a more um, nice uh, pictures of um, the testis and the cells that make up the testis and hopefully that um, helps you identify those different features anyway we'll see you in the next video Hooroo.